Hey and welcome back to the garage. Today I'm going to tackle the rear lights on the red van. As you can see uh, the old light units are looking pretty tired and ropey so I'm going to replace them with something a lot better. Now these are the lights that were the light units that were originally on the van when I got it um, and these are the new uh, the new light units that are going to be put onto the van to replace them. Now I have the uh, old um, light lenses here and uh, the new ones so you can see uh, straight away like the major kind of difference between the two types um, this one is this one here is like a smoked one um, this they seem to be kind of fashionable people put them on vans but I don't know why and um, because they're basically like the bulbs are not but these bulbs aren't very bright to begin with so you've got this other lens that's basically darkening your light um, and it's kind of dangerous to be honest um, I'd, I'd never put these onto a van um, or, or any other vehicle for that matter. They are effectively obscuring your lights. Um, so yeah, these are these are much closer to the uh, original types that would have been on the vans. Um, this is nice and clear. Uh, you can see all the the lights are nice and visible and everything, and much much brighter as well. Uh, so yeah, much safer. Go for these these types of ones if you can get them. Yeah, so the problems uh, didn't actually stop with the light lenses either. Um, these these units here that hold the bulbs in place, uh, they're um, <clears throat> yeah, they're pretty awful to be honest. Uh, like they're they just feel very cheap. Um, like the the metal tabs here uh, at the back are not very stiff. They don't they don't hold up against the bulbs very well. And often the spade connectors will actually just pop off sometimes. And um, when you're driving around, you know, you go over a bump or something and you'll find that suddenly your lights, one of your lights stops working. Um, yeah, and they're also missing, like they're missing a seal around here as well. So you can see on the new ones I've got, uh, they look much better. Like the tabs are, the tabs are much thicker. They're kind of double layered. Um, they feel, yeah, they feel a lot more substantial than these ones here, uh, which are just feel like they're made from biscuit tins or something. <laughs> Um, and there's, yeah, there's a few other things down here. I mean, there's rubbers here. There's a rubber seal here and a rubber seal around the edges, which are, are completely missing on these ones. Um, I don't know if they originally came with them or whether they just disappeared, but they're not on them anyway. So they're just letting a load of muck and everything fall into the van. Um, you know, and that can cause like rust issues as well around the lights. So yeah, I'm going to swap these on. They're, they're far superior units. They're much, they seem... They're not original exactly. I think they're a reproduction of an original, but they're yeah, much, much higher quality than these ones anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna get those, uh, get these onto the van. It's also easy to uh, tell apart kind of the difference between the late bay light units and the early bay ones. Uh, this uh, this came off the green van, and this is like an, a unit from an early bay. And they're actually very similar to the ones on the split ones. I don't think they really changed them too much. They just kept the same units at the back the early bays as they had on the splits um yeah so these ones are a lot smaller than the the ones that were on the late bays yeah so they kind of expanded them quite a bit to uh, on the late bays to accommodate things like reversing lights and stuff um and uh yeah more like more substantial brake lights as well and more substantial indicators just like just safer basically um you know bigger light you're more visible you can see here it's very important to kind of label everything before you pull it off the old light unit um yeah just label all the wires um, because it kind of get a little bit confusing when you're connecting everything back up again um yeah so we'll just we'll start from the bottom here um we'll uh we'll plug in the reversing light that goes in there yeah. and then we come up here to this is this is like a double filament bulb that goes in here so you've got filament is the main light um and one the other the other filament only comes on when you press the brake pedal it's like your uh it's like your brake lights so we'll put um we'll put the brake light connector on here these are nice and uh, tight connections now much better than the old one and then that's the main one there, main light. Yeah. 
Next one is the all important ground. Um, nothing's going to work without a ground. Be tight here to get everything when it's out of the van. There we go. And then uh, last but not least is the uh, the indicator. Yeah, just putting the bulbs back in now. Now, uh, before we reattach everything finally to the van, um, it's always a good idea to check that everything, that all the lights are actually working, um, so you don't have to go pulling them back off again. So, um, yeah, we'll do that now. Okay, main light. Left indicator. Brake light. Reversing light. Okay, looks like all the lights are working. Yeah. I'm going to put the uh, the light lens back on here. Um, I've already reattached the light unit itself back onto the van. And am amazingly, throughout that entire procedure, the spade connectors actually stayed on, which bodes well. That's it. All the lights are working. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.